I didn't think we'd end up in McDonald's, but we have. Breakfast time. Breakfast. It needs to be done, to be fair. We need to uh, just quickly get a, a bit of a boost, don't we, before we drive. I need the coffee. Coffee for him. He's coffee. Addict. I didn't have a coffee yesterday at all. Addict. Caffeine levels are... Like this. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. So, um, to be fair, probably like it with Coke, but not like... There's, there's probably more caffeine in Coke than there is in the coffee. There probably is, but I don't drink it. I can go without it. I can go days without it, but... I can't without tea. Yeah. Sorry. We look tired. I do look tired this morning, to be fair. We've slept in as well. About an hour and a half longer than we wanted to be, really. It's a long, long day today. <laughs> we'll be fine. So, it's actually... Look, I'm going to turn you around. Beautiful outside today. It's a lot, lot warmer than it has been as well, which is which is a definite plus point. So I thought that was I thought that was swearing then at first. Anything in particular you're looking forward to today? Everything. Everything. I am. This today is the day. Today and tomorrow are really are the days that I'm looking forward to most. So we'll see how it goes. See what happens. But it should be fun. We've got some fun things for you today. Fun things. That's good. Right. We'll see you in a bit. Hello there, beepers. Woo! So, you've probably seen Matt's video and Andy saying that I'm dead. Well, I didn't know I were dead. As you can see, alive and kicking. Yes. And I've been watching your videos. And you haven't heard from me. But I ain't heard from you either. You've got my number. Ring it. I'll do not bite. You see, I'm not listening to that. Anyway, it's nice to see you beepers. And don't forget, who we'll put the beep in beepers? The Roy boy. Me. Hello, Mr. Taylor. <coughs> He's Good dying. Me. He's dying over there. How are you? We're not avoiding you. We love you. We miss you. We spoke to you for loads and loads of times. And then you just stopped talking. We thought there was something You don't wrong. come for the coffee on a Thursday anymore. Exactly. We love you. Anyway, we're uh, we're just on at this moment driving to Russia. Um, yesterday was a bit of a funny one, getting chased by army men with dogs and guns and stuff. Yeah, so we do miss you, Roy boy. So I hope you can come out with us one day. I know your your legs are fucked, and you're fucked. We could buy you some um, new legs. That's bionic <laughs> legs with the money we get. Oscar Pistorius, get you some blades. And they can shoot your missus. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Mr. Ossifer. Um, she was in the toilet, I didn't know she was there, so I shot in the head. Wow. <laughs> anyway, it's been, it's, it's made our day seeing your face this morning, your beautiful round white Maltese red. And we do miss you, and I will give you a kiss next time I see you. Andy's got about 17 jumpers on today. It's not actually as cold today. No. Uh, I think we've just got out a, a heated car and that's why it seems a bit colder. But we are right at the Gulf of Finland and that is possibly why it's a little bit cold, a bit nippy. So we are just heading down now to a submarine base. So we've just got to our next location. Oh God, I'm just messing about. Uh, got to our next location. It is over that way, quite a distance over a bridge. Oh, there's someone coming over that bridge. Yeah. Now we've just found right next to the bridge where we need to go across is the security company that looks after it. So we may be in trouble. We may not be able to get in this one, but we'll get a go. Have a look. Go Give it a go. Scout round. See if there's anyone can be bribed. You never know. So I'm just looking at some of these buildings though, they're crazy, I'm just going to show you. This is a wooden fronted. Look at this. Massive big place there. But yeah, that little building over that side is the security. Yeah. And also, I don't know what that is as well. Look at this place though. They all seem to be made of wood, to be honest. That drain pipe. Oh yeah. That leads into this. That leads into something over that side there. 
But that's where we're going over there where those towers are. So yeah, this, this bridge at this side of us goes across to Russia. That is literally Russia there. This is Estonia here. That's where we want to go over there and that's still Estonia. We want to get across this bridge. But the security office is just up there. So I don't know how likely it is to get over that fence and get over that bridge without being spotted. Then I would get back. I don't care about getting back because once you're over there, you're over there. But I don't know. Anyway. speak to we've got permission to go across to the factory is it you only need to speak to uh, speak Russian or no no Sorry. English uh, pretty sweet okay they do this you know I think it's all the stuff's in car torches and everything hmm. I don't feel as nervous either yeah. Because we've done it and like, so what, could, what can happen? Just say no. Yeah. It's the big boss turning up now, they're just kicking his teeth and we're a baseball bat. <laughs> you can get in touch with Russian mafia now. Hi, you speak English? A little bit. A little bit. Um, we have permission to go to the. Um, what is it? Factory. Factory. Yeah, it's gone out of my head. From who? Um, so we spoke to Artare. This is Artare. Rooms are trained. I am an Estonian YouTuber. Now at this point, I really want to apologise to Artare for using his name in the blag, but he's the only Estonian I know. Another YouTuber. Um, uh, basically, he's put the permissions in place from us um, through whoever it is that owns that place. Uh, we've obviously come from the UK, we're over in Russia this afternoon, uh, we're doing the, the video for there. Uh, we work, we've been working alongside uh, the Daily Mail and the Mirror and the Sun in the UK. And from who's the permission? Uh, so, it's, I can find the details for you, but it's the o whoever owns the, the land uh, through Artare. Could you talk with him? And he will call. Get him to call through yeah, to you. Yeah. Uh, I can do, yeah. Um, I think take me. We don't have any information about it. Oh, nobody's nobody's told anything. No. All oh, right. Okay. I know we were supposed to be about three days after this, so it may be that they've not got through to you yet. But Maybe. we have got the the permissions to do that. Um, Could you call I think, him? I just think I, that's probably the best thing. Is numbers in the car anyway, mm. so. We'll go back to the car, I'll get the stuff, and then give him a call, and then come back round to you. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. He was wise to it. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we are. We ma didn't manage to get in the last place. That was a bit of a bust, as you saw. Um, we are now at the Estonian-Russian border, literally going across the river on that bridge like that lorry's doing at the moment. But look at the castles, look at the size of that beast. It's huge, isn't it, that? Nobody's gonna get into that, are they? Or the way of the day. To be fair, I don't think many people are gonna get into Russia without wanting, without them wanting to. <laughs> Took us ages, didn't they get a fucking visa? Jesus Christ. Almost, well, more than 400 pounds in visas between us. Ridiculous. Mental, isn't it? But it's gonna be worth it. That's got some current in that river as well. Yeah. It's got, no, not really, you can't see it through there, but it must be flowing behind that as well. Running down there, yeah. yeah you can see the right current. The white bits on the water moving along really fast, really, really fast. But there'd be no swimming across it, would there? No. I think even if you got across it though, you ain't getting up there. You'd probably get shot before you ever got across. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the border control isn't until you get about two miles that way, which is weird. That's really weird. Mm. All right, let's uh, let's get back in that little car. Look at that little car, massive that thing, isn't it? I'm gonna give you a better better look.
Ready? Yeah. Watch out here I come. Look at look out because here I come. Just a Fucking fucking up! Oh, I'm thinking of something else! Anyway. Let, let me just get the word out again. And they're marching, and they're marching on to the beat I drum. Move over, because you're getting further over that way. You need to be back here. Oh. Ready? So we're at the Russian border at the moment, a little bit concerned. They've taken our documents and they're reading through them with a load of other people. Um, like it's an issue. I don't want to hold the camera up, he is coming back, so I'm now going to turn this off. I'll see if it's a problem. Right, so we're having a, a massive problem in the fact they're not letting us take the car across. Um, something to do, well, it's to do with the documentation that we've been given. We've got copies, not the originals. Uh, so they're not letting us take it, which is a massive problem, obviously. So we've either got to hire a car, walk across, and be potentially stuck over there. And oh, I, I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. We'll try and figure it out. Right, so we've had a good two hours of being stressed out. Very, very stressed out. We've lost a lot of time of explores and things that we can do. And basically we've been trying to book a coach to St. Petersburg. Now we've got a hire car. This is the problem. We've paid for a hire car, but we've paid a lot, lot more for us visas into Russia. So we yeah. don't want to waste all the money that we've paid for visas. So basically what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna just gonna to lose today altogether. Um, head off to St. Petersburg on a bus, if which we if we can. And now uh, there are buses coming in all the time, but we just need to work out which one's the right one. That's not the right one, that's 791. Um, basically, we've gotta leave, leave our car, our little car. I haven't shown it yet, one sec. A little teeny tiny car um, here get a coach to St. Petersburg potentially hire a car for a day in St. Petersburg so we can at least go and see some stuff or do something or at least just stay in St. Petersburg for the day yeah. I ain't missing out I'm going to rush her all together and then we can come back tomorrow night and get this car back but having a bit of a nightmare we'll sort it we're not bothered we'll be fine you wouldn't think that I weren't bothered for the last hour. I've hardly spoken to you, Anna. I know. So anyway, I'm stressed. He's stressed. Let's get this done. Let's get it sorted. We'll get all those bags out and we'll just go and stand up there. Right. So we've made it onto the coach, and if nothing else, like I said, like I was just saying to you, now you're sorting that boy. You can't speak to me anyway. But, Sorry. Uh, Sorry again. Seeking, dis sports. seeking discomfort. Good. We literally could have just got in the car and gone back, gone way back yeah. to Tallinn, but. At the end of the day, we've come here to come to Russia, and yeah, we are going to miss a, a good chunk of a day in Russia, but this will now sort us out. It will help us out massively. The only problem we may have is when we get to Russia, getting into our apartment, which I'm a bit worried about, because you're looking worried at me, don't you? Well, because it's meeting up with the people that have got the key. 
that's the only thing. It's nothing that bad, but definitely uh, something worrying. But we're at least on a coach and we're on our way to Russia. For three and a half hours. For three and, what do you mean for three and a half hours? Oh, on the coach for three and a half hours. I thought we were going to rush for three and a half hours. Like, you know, at least we're on, at least we're sorted. At least, at least driving. I'm not stressed anymore. I am a little bit. We'll have to sort out a car in the morning, do what we need to do. And if we're not, if we don't, we're just going to spend some time and we'll do some daft things in Russia right, instead. Yeah. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so we're actually finally making our way over to Russia at last. It's not, not taken much time at all, has it really? No, what time? Has grown back. What time did we uh, get into Narva? About 12 What time is it now? About 5? Or just after half 5 or something. So yeah, 5 and a half hours basically sat here. But we are finally here. Which is good. And as you can see, on the back of a big fat coach full of people that don't speak English which is fine because we weren't planning on speaking to them even if they didn't anyway no, we don't speak very good English either I oh, know, very true so we'll catch up with you in a short while when we get through everything and we get know what's happening Petersburg. yeah and we hire a car and God knows what's God going knows what's going to happen don't know, we'll see <laughs> My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay In the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we could Right, so it's about two hours Since we last spoke to you And we are less than 200 metres Further forward <laughs> Um, so basically, I've got to be careful, but that's the um, the gate we've come through behind us now. We've had to sit here for ages. Everybody's passport was taken off them, obviously. Then we've had to go through pass uh, through not passport control, um, customs control uh, to check our bags and things like that. And we're now still sat here, so still got a couple of hours drive time. Then we've got to try and work things out when we get there. Um, at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's an adventure, regardless. We are missing out on it. It is a little bit. To be fair, I don't mind messing about with stuff. It's more sitting, waiting, in it. That's yeah. the bad thing, the sitting and waiting. But once again, it's something different. It's something we've never done before. And we sort of expected some problems with Russia, but not quite. Not that to, to the this. extent. No. Yeah. And that's the worst thing. It's not even that we're not allowed in here. It's just the car that weren't allowed past. Mm. They just wouldn't let the car through because we didn't have the original documents, which we were never given. Didn't have the original vehicle registration. No. So I'm a bit annoyed about it, but at the end of the day, it's something to look back and go, oh my God, as if that happened. Um, so yeah, hopefully once everybody's got the stuff back on, we're on our way. Oh, I'm starving. I'm starving. And yeah, then I had some toileting issues, but we'll not go into that. <laughs> that that was quite interesting. Are you waiting? <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, we ain't got any food, ain't got any drink, because we weren't prepared for this. Were we? That's the thing. Well, we're in. At least we're in Russia now. A couple of meters. Shut the fuck up. Can't wait to get back to Rome. Crash out. I know we're going out, yeah. Three more explorers to die. The only explorer I want to do is somewhere to eat and drink, that's it. No, yeah, I want eating and drinking. We shouldn't be there that late anyway, so we will have some time to eat and drink and then chill out. But then tomorrow is going to have to be a bit of a madness to catch up on some of the things we've done. We're going to have to just prioritise what we really want to do and do those and then leave the rest, which is a shame because we've been looking forward to it, haven't we, certain ones. But yeah. we'll see anyway, we'll see what comes to pass.
Right guys, we are now in the centre of St Petersburg. Look at that building. That is crazy. Look at that. Don't know what it is. I'm guessing that's Lenin or Stalin over at that side. So, wow, we're just about... Oh, everybody's getting off. So I'm guessing we are as well. Yep. Tired? Very. We'll be all right there. Chin up. Coffee coming soon. Right, so we've been back at our room. We've not had a room. Much chance to show you yet. We'll show you in a little bit. But we're just making our way out for some food, even though it's like 11 o'clock at night. Look at this. That's literally just right next to our hotel, and it's massive and bright. Look, it's like it's growing out of Bakri's head. It's massive. Like Blackpool Bloody Tower. Right, are we going to go find a taxi? Yeah. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, starved. I am, I'm thirsty. I'm out of hunger, thirst, and lack of sleep. Now the sleep, I'm alright. One consolation is, oh. I've got a separate room, so I can't hear oh, you yeah. snoring. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice room though, isn't it? <laughs> Literally, that's what you are. I'm not that bad. And then you're not coach going. <laughs> like having a little mini fit. <laughs> right, let's get into uh, the main bit of St Petersburg. Right, so, are you running off? Leaving me? Don't get your panoramic before we've talked at camera boy. I can do whatever I want, I'm holy. <laughs> Look at this place. This is amazing. I don't know what that building is, but I do know what the other one is around the other side. Big thingies. That's the Winter Palace, we've been told. Now, that is outstanding. Look at the people up on the roof as well, all the statues of the different people. And the same with over there, you can't really see it, but there's like a, a chariot over there as well. It's brilliant. Right, we haven't had any food yet. It's quarter to 12, almost midnight, and we've not even eaten. So we better go and get some food, really. Can't get over this place. It's absolutely amazing. Imagine how long it'd take to explore around that place. Imagine. What's that? How long would it take to explore around that place? We've been there days. Two days. It takes us four hours for a medium sized explore. <laughs> um, enough bedrooms, that'd be probably that lot. <laughs> to be fair. Between 1 and 142,000. We'd be bored by end though, wouldn't we? We would, we'd have like, enough half, that's what I'm saying. I bet it is, I bet they're all, bet they're all the same, but half of them are empty, but there's no in them. Yeah. Oh look, it's another imperial eagle over the bed. Yeah, there's another bed. Oh yeah, this one was slept in by Vladimir. And there's another bed. This one was slept in by Vlad Vladimir's wife. And there's another bed. And this one was slept in by Vladimir's mistress. And there's another bed, Brezhnev. <laughs> Looking over there though, those big pillar things earlier on massive fuck off flames coming out of them weren't they no wonder no, no, they were just massive flames <laughs> no wonder there's no, uh, no gas, gas left, left in the western world yeah russia producing too much yeah east the east are using it all right let's get across in this country it's bloody freezing it is actually it's not quite as cold today as it was seven degrees isn't it, tonight yeah seven's not bad but it's still like wind chill of about two, I think. Right, so we're at the other side of the bridge now. We've just come, so we said it was a bit like Blackpool Tower, that's there. Now, that other pointy thing there, and that whole building across there, is a bloody prison. How ornate is that for a prison? Five star. Crazy. Look at that view over there with all that. Wow. That's brilliant. Now, these are the things we were on about earlier on that got flames coming out the top and I don't just mean little flames either were they? Like massive flame throwers, flame flowers. <laughs> you literally could engulf a house with that. You know when you see gas burning from um, oil rigs? Oil and rigs stuff. and stuff, that's like what that. that like, that's what like. Look, she's pissed off about the amount of gas that's been used as well. She'll be having a word later. Look at that place over there. Now I do, I've told you before, Urban Lad Yorkshire 
Bye Ferido, they get everywhere. But yeah, just listening up here, I think this music you can hear up here in a nightclub is the car that's just driven past us. Andy, how bad was that car that's just come past? This one wants to have it. Yeah. So we could actually feel the vibrations. Vibrations up ground, it was disgusting. So loud, I don't know how they do it. Breaking eardrum. Right, listen to this. This is all coming from a car stereo. And we've got Slav dancing. Like that. There we go. dancing the whole thing goes off so how fucking loud his windscreen was actually going like that it's absolutely mental that's crazy <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates. Right, just on my way down in the lift now to um, go and pay a little bit extra for the room so we can be here for the live stream. We had a bit of a nightmare because we forgot we're three hours in front. So to do the live stream, we need to be, for 11 o'clock like we normally do, we need to be around about two o'clock and we're supposed to check out at 12. So we booked it till four. So it gives us a little bit extra, a little bit extra time. So I'm gonna go and pay the lady now. Right guys, due to the issues that we've had having to leave our car behind, we've now got a, we're in a taxi on the way to get our second car. Second one. So um, we've managed to book in, like I said earlier on, for an extra few hours uh, in the hotel so we can do the live stream. We're off to do an explore as soon as we've got the car quite a good one as well isn't it if we get in yeah if we get in um it'll be one of the highlights i think for me if we get in this place but yeah we're in the, in the back of an uber on the way jesus over some bumps at the moment but over one of the bridges and uh, we'll go and get our car it's a lot quieter than what it was last night oh, oh wow like race track it was crazy two o'clock this morning i've never seen as many cars and now this time in the morning Oh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning or Sunday morning, nothing dead. You're my best friend. Didn't care about right, the back board. We're slightly lopsided here and it's slightly too high. So I'm trying to adjust it. Because you can't see the, actually see the table. Oh, I know what it needs to be done. It needs to be slightly higher at the back than it is at the front. You have to tilt it down. That's what I'm saying. The handle thing. Yeah, I can do. Right. Yeah, it is. I can sort that though and say. See, the table needs to be closer to it. The whole thing needs to be closer. We're about that far away before. No, but I don't like this. Edge of, edge of the table here. I'd rather have that, like only that much. I don't mean very far. Oh, I moved mine and didn't move yours. So they took it down there or anyway, because you can't see it. Right. Got it. Right, so we are here in St. Petersburg. So we're just driving to one of our first explorers in Russia. Just over there, we've got one of the stadiums that were used in the World Cup finals. I have a feeling it was used in the semi final, that one. Uh, just over the other side, over there, you can't quite see it, but that thing you can see sticking up is a big spiky thing. I can't really, I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Right, so this isn't just any spiky building in Europe. It's actually Europe's largest building, the Lactar Centre. It looks absolutely amazing close up. I really need to show you this clip by the YouTuber Alexander Shvedov. Check out his channel. Quite impressive driving down here actually and it seems a bit futuristic, doesn't it? Don't you think? But yeah, really really impressive. 
see if I can find anything else to look at in a minute. Like that bridges? Oh yeah, going across a big bridge down here. Got local dogs going mad. Turkeys and all sorts. I can hear a police car coming. Right, we're away from the worst of it now. Just catch my breath. And he's miles in front. Right, so we're just making our way back to the border in our Uber. Right, so it is one o'clock in the morning and we've been refused entry back into Estonia.